And now, the testing procedure for the rubber sample. Place the disc-shaped rubber sample in the center of the sample holder using tweezers and using the cross at the center of the sample holder as a guide. Using manual controls, lower the stage at medium speed to approximately 20 mm above the sample and lower the stage at low speed to approximately 2 mm above the sample. At this point, verify sample's alignment with the center axis by using the shaft of the indenter as the center axis. Make any adjustment as necessary by moving the sample. Then perform the following test sequence to measure the disc thickness. Remove the zero position from the sequence. A zero load followed by a fine contact with the position Z as the stage axis in the positive direction and a velocity of 0.1 mm per second and a contact criteria of 0.3 Newton, a stage limit of 3 mm and a stage repositioning of 2 times the load cell resolution. We can now execute the sequence. Report the current position of the vertical stage axis as the thickness of the sample. Proceed with the following torsional shear sequence. A stress relaxation, which corresponds to a pre-compression of the sample, with the position Z as the stage axis and a force in the Z direction as the load cell axis. With a ramp amplitude of 10% of the sample thickness, which corresponds to 0.1463 mm, and a ramp velocity of 0.4% of the sample thickness per second, which corresponds to 0.005852 mm per second, and we will perform one ramp which will stop based on the relaxation rate of 0.01 newton per minute with a time for measurement of the slope of 10 seconds. We will save the data in a file with the following file name group number underscore team number underscore torsion underscore rubber. Then we will insert six sinusoid functions using the rotational stage and with an amplitude of 2 degrees at different frequencies such as 0 0.01, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 1 and 2 Hz. Each sinusoid function will have a number of cycles of 3 and the results will be saved in the same file name as the stress relaxation function. Ensure that the low pass filter is unchecked in the load cell window since this filter could create a small phase shift at high frequency. Now let's execute the sequence. So here is the pre-compression of the rubber sample. And now the rubber is subjected to dynamic angular shear deformation through the sinusoid functions. Now that the torsional shear test is done, using the manual controls, raise the stage above the sample holder and dispose of the rubber sample.